Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 4 in the Shadows of Darkness. We now have... a good humor bar. While this bears a passing resemblance to an ice cream bar on a stick, it hasn't melted the whole time you've been carrying it. It feels kind of funny in your hand. Let's try eating it. Or at least licking it. You sneak a tiny taste of the good humor bar. It tastes... kind of funny. But um by the way, isn't there an actual bar called a good humor bar? I think there actually is. Now, okay. I'm gonna try this. I know I can use... There's two other things we want to get from Baba Yaga, especially the second one being a wizard character. I was told that we can give her garlic. If this is not right, whoever said that to me, you, you owe me here. You owe me an extra life. <laughs> Let's go see Baba Yaga. I'll try the garlic first. Baba Yaga speaks out loud. Uh -oh. Hatso through blew his shoes. You find your feet stuck again to the floor. God damn it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, back so soon, Cookie Face. I hope for your sake you brought us something to eat. After all, there's always room for hero. <laughs> okay, this doesn't work. You know who you are. Do you want garlic? Oh, I can always <laughs> use some garlic. Oh, I honestly it didn't know that. It goes with everything. Now I can make some garlic head. So what do you want for this, Cookie? Well, you s I was told there's a dark one ritual in Yaga that tree. About a dark one ritual. So, you heard about that, huh? I found it in the hangman tree some years ago. You're asking for trouble, I hope you know. Using the ritual for any purpose will only bring you grief. It can be used in either one or two ways. Its main purpose is to bring a dark one across to this world. However, a very powerful wizard could use it to send the dark one back to its world. You don't qualify as a very powerful wizard as I see it. <laughs> Still, you want it, you got it. You put the ritual away in your pack. Hero near, out of here. That sure lets you do one thing. Oh, back so soon? Okay, there's one other thing we want to get. We can ask her for a magic spell, being a wizard character. But you have to have one other thing to give her, and I do have something she would want. Any of the ingredients for the elderberry Yaga thing will work, loud. except the berries, I think. I don't think you can use berries. Cut so you Ooh, shoes. Oh. Well, I'd like to offer you some extra Gru Goo. Well, it is true that Gru Goo makes a lovely sauce for ice cream Sundays. <laughs> so, what do you want for this, Cookie? Well... Do you know any magic you could teach us? You ask for a magical spell. Magic? Hmm, let me think. What have I got that won't let you get me? I suppose you want something other than a spell to cause warts. <laughs> you nod your head. Oh, all right, all right. Here's a spell scroll to teach you the hide spell. I use it all the time, as you can plainly see. Read the scroll. As it vanishes, the spell remains in your memory. Hero near, out I hear. And that is the last time we will have to talk to Baba Yaga in the game. Can I help you out? Which way did you come in? So they're all happy. So now we now not only have the good humor bar for Putty Bones, we have the Dark One Ritual. We have yet another Dark One Ritual to add to our collection. I'm not exactly sure which one we got. It was the Breath Ritual? I don't... I don't know. Alright, so... And we also have a new magical spell known as Hide. And here it is. The... Oh, known as the Invisibility Spell. Here's how it works. We vanish from sight, but the moment we move, the spell dissipates. It's a great way to get away from monsters in the event that I'm gonna get caught. <laughs> Which makes it slightly more useful than the comm spell in Quest for Glory 1, or in the future Quest for Glories, because sometimes calm doesn't work on creatures who don't have enough intelligence to be calmed. For example, I don't believe it worked on the Manta Ray. 
or Mentre, or Mantra, I believe is the name of the creature, but it didn't work on them in the first Quest of Glory game. Uh, let's go see the Leshe. Because I think he... We can answer his riddle now. And we are totally in the wrong part of the forest. <laughs> you are completely in the wrong part of the forest. You feel totally disoriented. You seem to remember a tea party. Let's answer the Leshe's riddle. Because now we can. The whole garlic thing, I honestly didn't know that. I didn't know you could give him garlic. Give uh, Baba Yaga garlic. Because remember, her love of food is her weakness. You can also give her a bone meal. That's why I was kind of concerned about not having another bone. Okay, give me the riddle. Ten and twelve make twenty-two. This killer plant will crawl to you. Hungry, hunting, seeking food. A berry bush with an attitude? I believe I know the answer. The elderberry bush. Riddles, riddles, three, two, one. Next one, and my riddling's done. Yep, he has but one more riddle for us. I'm not sure if we... I believe the character at this point does actually know what the answer to that riddle is. Oh, Wyvern! Oh, good time to demonstrate the hide spell. You know he can't see us, so he'll simply fly away. So a good way to avoid combat if you're just not interested in fighting. It's not going to work against creatures who have magical sensitivity. So for example, like a wraith, it wouldn't work on him because he could magically sense you. I believe some of the other undead creatures, it wouldn't work on them either. But I believe for the Necrotars, the Wyverns, and the Bunnies, it does work on them because they cannot detect you. So let's head back to town. They've been successful. Oh, you know what? We should head back to the... I'm sorry if I'm going around in circles. We should head back to get the next fortune. We'll give the good humor bar to Punny Bones later. Don't worry, it's not going to melt. I'll pass up the Leshy. Oh, I don't know. Could we answer it? Let's give it a try with the Leshy. Na, 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 na. Come on. Come on, Leshy. And we should be able to answer this final riddle. We technically do know what the answer is. The pl character does. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, what? Nine and eight make seventeen. Watch out for the fairy queen. What? Loped by magic. All right. Tail up cheek. What is it that the fairies seek? Oh, I forgot about this. This is the next question he asks if you are a wizard character. Unfortunately, we do not actually know the answer. You come up with a wild guess. That would be a killer rabbit. No. Fuzzy bunny, soft and furry. That's a really crazy guess. Find the answer in a hurry if you want to have success. Unfortunately, we can only meet the Fairy Queen at night. And actually, now that we have resolved Nikolai and Anna, we actually can meet them. Huh, but the Fairy Queen wants something. That would only we would only know about if we were a wizard character. Though, technically, it makes no sense, because technically, any class could actually acquire this object. I just don't want to get into a fight, I just want to get to the gypsies, which, actually, we're not going to have enough time in this video to go through the fortune. Oh. Davy! Welcome, welcome. It is good of you to visit our camp once again. May you find here all that you seek. Let's talk to Davy. Let's ask about the fortune teller. If you wish to know about her, why don't you visit her yourself? She will be happy to speak with you. She was most impressed. Most impressed by what? Yeah, we've talked about all this stuff. Tell about ourselves. You tell about your adventures in Spielberg. So, you turned Baba Yaga into a frog? <laughs> How funny! <laughs> so, see Baba Yaga. Oh, no, I'm uh, Magda. 
I love how we go into that corner for no reason. Last night I had a more strange vision. <gasps> oh! I saw you standing in the forest. You were not near any water, yet I thought you were fishing. You threw something into the air that looked like a bird, and yet not a bird. The bushes rustled, then started moving towards the strange yellow bird. That was all I saw. It was most strange. I just realized something I totally forgot. The rubber chicken we took from Punny Bones, we could actually use that to force the elderberry bush to move away from a branch we knock off its branches. Or get it to move, knock the branch off, and then force it to move back with force bolt spells. I totally forgot about that, but the wizard can get can completely get around that issue. Oh, uh, we don't really have... I don't think we have anything mm. else we can ask. Oh, let's talk about Katrina. Tell about your meeting with Katrina. I have no knowledge of such a person. Much is strange about your story. I would not entirely trust this Katrina if I were you. Well, she seems friendly enough. It's about our adventures. Tell about Rakish and your adventures. Oh my god, it actually references Quest Glory 3. You fought a demon? Oh, then perhaps you can drive off the dark. But no, no, we must not even think of such things. It is far too dangerous to speak of it. But seriously, Quest Glory 3 what, was, is part of canon in this game? Yeesh. I never thought it was even brought up. <laughs> Alright, um... About. Oh, let's ask about Irana. The magician Irana's death is shrouded in mystery. I do not know her true fate, but I only know that her staff protects the town and her garden protects anyone in need of safety. Let's about the staff. The staff of Irana has a great deal of magic. It protects the town from the undead, although between you and me. The townspeople do not know it, but I had a vision of it one night. I heard it speak in the dream. It told me how it protected the town and of its destiny spell. When the staff spoke no more, I saw a most beautiful crystal floating in the air. The staff touched it, and the crystal shattered. Oh, that was all I saw. You must ask her about the destiny spell. That is critical to this game. Mm, in my vision, the staff said that it would guard the town until it cast its destiny spell. That one day, someone would bring a dead loved one before the staff. That person would trade his life force through the staff. The dead would rise, alive and well, Though the one who gave his life for the dead would never know. That would be a true sacrifice, done with foreknowledge and with much love. The staff still stands in the town, so I do not think anyone has been willing to make such a sacrifice. Or they simply do not know of the staff's ability. What's Irana's garden? Irana's garden is to the south, and a little west of here. It is a very good place to rest and heal. There used to be a small bush whose fruit was sweet and filling, and always available. But someone dug it up and took it. Why anyone would do such a thing, I do not know, I do not know. There is a tree whose fruit will restore magic to those who use it, but only a magical spell can get the fruit. Oh, uh, we already knew, we knew about the magical spell getting the fruit. That is true of the wizard character. You must use the fetch spell to get that fruit or you can't. As for the bonsai, I never went to it, and so unfortunately, and I'm not going to, uh, Dr. Cranium is the one who dug up the bush. Why he then proceeded to put it near the Dark One's cave, I have no idea. Um, um uh, next time, though, we're just about out of time here, we will have, I think we did she just wink at us? <laughs> She's winking at us. Uh, we will do the next, the third fortune from her, from Magda. So this is Firewoods23 saying take care and bye bye for now.